Hey guys, how's it going? You guys asked for it, and well, here we are with our list of the best seven editors for your photo editing needs on Android in 2022. Now, some of these are for advanced and pro grade editing and color grading, while some of these are for adding multiple effects, while others are for making that perfect image for social media. Basically, there's something for everyone. So, without wasting any time, this is one from Guiding Tech, and let's jump right into it. Okay, so kicking things off, we have the most versatile photo editor for Android available in the form of Snapseed. To this date, I am amazed how Google is offering this advanced photo editing feature just for free, considering the plethora of features that it packs in. Like seriously, the app gives desktop great photo editors a run for their money with a huge range of features and an intuitive interface that it packs in. It comes with all of the classic tools such as cropping, straightening, frames, text, wignings, etc. There's also a selective adjust tool that lets you select a specific area of your photo and adjust the saturation, contrast and brightness of that single point. Honestly, this is the complete solution for beginners and advanced users alike. Now speaking of photo editors that suit advanced or professional users the most, Adobe's Lightroom for mobile has to be there. Lightroom allows you to easily work with raw images and it offers all of its advanced features in a simple slider based interface. These allow you to adjust the light, detail, color, distortion and grain of your photo. Now I know some of you will say that you need the Creative Cloud membership for the full feature set which is true, but trust me, the free version is more than enough for most users, especially those new to the editing world. Okay, now for most users who want a super clean interface with a plethora of stickers and animated text to choose from, PixArt is one of the best options to go for. PixArt boasts of a ton of features, such as photo effects, drawing tools, image editor, collage maker, sticker maker, camera, photo filters, and whatnot. You can basically use it to add frames and stickers that even make dual exposure images super easily. Yes, there's a gold membership available, but even the free feature site should be more than enough for most folks out there, no doubt. Moving along, here's a photo editor that I recently discovered and similar to Snapseed offers a plethora of features along with a lot of stickers as well, all for free. The other that I'm talking about is Epic. Epic offers professional editing features such as HSL, curves, split tone, lux, grain, vignette and more. However, you can also get creative tools such as various stickers brushes, filters, and much more. You can also change the background, add a color frame or border, and there are plenty of effects to choose from as well. Next up, we have Pixtica, and it's basically a photo editor done well, because the UI here is pure bliss. Like seriously, Pixtica is one of the most feature-rich photo editors out there, but it offers it all inside a beautiful and easy to use interface. There's an inbuilt camera app with live filters if you want, but as an editor itself, Pixtica has tons of features and you can edit your photos with filters, a large selection of stickers and even a drawing tool for easy sketching. Moving along, if effects are all you want, there's hardly an editor out there that can compete with the level of features offered by Photo Editor Pro. Photo Editor Pro comes from the house of InShot and offers over 200 different filters and over 500 different effects to choose from. You can use it for face tuning, creating photo collages, blurring the photo, creating grids, changing the background and so much more. Now what I personally love the most are the glitch effects here, complete with neon, pixel, fisheye and much more. Lastly, if you want to add a cinematic effect to your photos, Lens Distortions is my go-to recommendation for that. Lens Distortions gives you the ability to post-process your images to give them that cinematic oomph that editors crave for. Now there's a huge collection of beautiful light, natural elements and elegant overlays to create truly vivid images. It also comes with color layers that offer limitless customizations like masks, gradients and blank adjustment too. Of course, there's a paid version available here as well with more features, but the free version is great for noobs as well as amateur photographers who want amazing pictures without spending money on a pro filter app. And well, that was it. As always, you can find the download links to all of the apps that I talked about down in the description box. Also, if there's a photo editor that's available for free and you'd like to use and would like to recommend to others, comment down below in the comment section and who knows, maybe we'll include it in our updated list next year. Till then, this is Ron from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.